In the heart of the Pacific Ocean, a U.S. Navy destroyer suddenly opens fire. Its guns don't fire missiles, they unleash a storm. In less than one second, 4,500 rounds of armor-piercing shells streak into the sky, lighting up the horizon like a thunderstorm. An enemy drone, flying at near supersonic speed, bursts into flames before it even reaches the ship. That sound, that flash, comes from one of the most feared naval defense systems ever built. The Phalanx Close-In Weapon System, or CIWS, pronounced CWIS. And now, according to newly released footage and Navy test reports, the U.S. Navy's latest upgraded Phalanx system has entered a new phase of testing. Engineers claim it can neutralize enemy aircraft, drones, and anti-ship missiles in under one second. Welcome to the next generation of point defense warfare, where milliseconds decide who survives at sea. The Phalanx CIWS has been the Navy's last shield for more than four decades. Developed by General Dynamics in the 1970s and now produced by Raytheon Technologies, the Phalanx is a self-contained radar-guided Gatling gun that automatically detects, tracks, and destroys incoming threats. Mounted on the decks of aircraft carriers, destroyers, and amphibious ships, this compact system is the Navy's final line of defense when all other weapons fail. Its six-barreled 20mm M61A1 Vulcan cannon can fire up to 4,500 rounds per minute. That's 75 rounds every second enough to shred any missile, drone, or aircraft that dares to get close. The system is entirely autonomous. Once activated, the Phalanx can identify threats, aim, and open fire without human input. In naval warfare, where seconds can mean life or death, this automation is not just a convenience, it's survival. According to reports from the U.S. Naval Sea Systems Command, NAVSEA, new Phalanx CIWS tests were recently conducted aboard USS Higgins and USS Shiloh. The latest variant, the Block 1B Baseline 2 upgrade, introduces advanced tracking algorithms and new radar systems that drastically improve accuracy against maneuvering aerial targets, including hypersonic weapons and stealth drones. During the Pacific tests, the upgraded Phalanx demonstrated the ability to track and destroy multiple inbound drones at once, even under heavy electronic interference. Navy observers described it as like watching a metal storm obliterate the sky. When the Phalanx first entered service in the late 1970s, its mission was simple, defend ships against Soviet cruise missiles. Back then, U.S. carriers faced threats from the SSN-2 Sticks and KH-22 Kitchen missiles fast, low-flying weapons that could destroy ships in a single hit. The Navy needed something fast, automatic, and relentless. The answer was the Phalanx, a self-contained defensive fortress powered by radar and electricity alone. Why is the U.S. investing in upgrades to such an old system? Because the threats have evolved and multiplied. China's YJ-18 and Russia's three M-22 Zircon missiles can fly at Mach 5 plus speeds, performing evasive maneuvers to outsmart radar systems. Even a small delay in response time can mean disaster. The U.S. Navy believes that until laser and railgun systems are fully combat ready, the Phalanx remains irreplaceable as a last resort defense. Its compact size, automatic targeting, and reliability make it ideal for destroyers, carriers, and even small patrol ships. During simulated attacks, the new Phalanx upgrade successfully tracked and engaged hypersonic-like targets, something no other system has consistently achieved. The Navy's long-term goal is to merge AI-assisted Phalanx systems with directed energy weapons, creating a seamless multi-layer defense network. Imagine a ship where laser systems destroy distant threats, while Phalanx guns vaporize whatever slips through all coordinated by artificial intelligence. Raytheon engineers have already begun integrating machine learning modules to improve target discrimination, allowing Phalanx to tell the difference between decoys, drones, and actual warheads instantly. The result? Fewer wasted rounds, faster kills, and near-perfect efficiency. In the next decade, 
Every U.S. Navy destroyer and carrier could operate dual defense layers. CRAM missile interceptors for long range and Phalanx Block 1B, Baseline 2 for short range. Together, they form an impenetrable shield one that could decide future naval battles in the South China Sea or Taiwan Strait. Every major navy in the Indo-Pacific is watching these tests closely. For China, it's a signal that U.S. ships are harder to kill than ever. For U.S. allies, Japan, the Philippines, Australia, it's reassurance that American naval protection remains unmatched. Even small allied vessels equipped with phalanx turrets gain a massive defensive boost. The Philippines, for example, has begun installing phalanx systems on its new Jose Rizal-class frigates, ensuring survivability against potential missile attacks. This weapon doesn't just protect ships, it deters aggression. In an era of drone swarms and missile salvos, that deterrence is priceless. For sailors, the phalanx isn't just a machine, it's a guardian. Its distinctive buzzing sound, often compared to a chainsaw of thunder, is both terrifying and comforting. When alarms blare and seconds count, the phalanx automatically comes alive, its radar sweeping, its barrels spinning, ready to defend. It has saved countless ships, including during the 1987 USS Stark incident and the 1991 Gulf War, when multiple phalanx systems successfully intercepted incoming Iraqi missiles. To this day, Every sailor who hears that distinct BERT knows one thing the ship still has a fighting chance. As the U.S. Navy transitions into the age of lasers, hypersonics, and AI, one weapon remains unchanged in its purpose. To protect the fleet at all costs. The Phalanx CIWS has become more than just a gun. It's a symbol of resilience, precision, and technological mastery. Fast, accurate, and utterly unforgiving, it's the last sound an enemy missile will ever hear. And now, with the latest upgrades, it might just be the fastest, smartest, and most lethal defender ever deployed at sea.